Hello, good morning and welcome to this new video. Uh, we are here at about 2300 meters, which is about 7500 feet uh, on top of the Julier Pass. And it's a bit of a surreal setting as you can see here behind me. Uh, these are temporary buildings for a cultural event here on top of the Julier Pass. What I want to talk to you today is uh, how uh, to drive mountain passes with the electric Renault Zoe, which is here uh, behind me. So let's jump in and uh, let's go. So we're back in the car now, we are driving into a beautiful sunrise, it's a beautiful day here in the Swiss Alps and today I want to talk about uh, driving mountain passes in an electric car which is one of the biggest advantage of owning an electric car to be honest because the difference in energy consumption uh, compared to a standard car to a petrol car is, uh, is, is huge uh, with an electric car. I can tell you um, an example if today we're driving about 120 kilometers over two mountain passes of about uh, 2300 meters in height each which is about uh, 7500 feet so two passes 120 kilometers in my um, petrol car which is maybe a bit bigger than uh, this one but not much heavier uh, I use about um, 15 or even more liters of uh, petrol uh, to drive the same the, the same journey uh, if we translate that into kilowatt hours uh, you usually say that uh, one liter of petrol has about 10 uh, kilowatt hours of energy so that would be about 150 kilowatt hours of energy that I use for uh, for this journey and here in this Renault Zoe I have one battery with 22 kilowatt hours of energy so that would translate in about into uh, two 2.2 two and a half liters of uh, petrol so I do the same journey in uh, with uh, two and a half liters of petrol instead of uh, 15 liters of petrol and that's that's a huge a huge difference uh, so one part of it is uh, better energy efficiency of the electric cars uh, the second part and maybe even the bigger part is regenerative uh, braking when going downwards so part or most of the of, of, of the excess energy that we use when going upwards uh, we will get back when driving down on the other side of the hill so the electric car flattens out the peak of the mountain so that we can only calculate with uh, the distance and about 10% uh, more of energy consumption when we have hills uh, in between but not much more so uh, that's the big difference in a, in a regular car I need a huge amount of energy, energy to drive up and uh, then I get nothing back when driving down whereas here I need a bit more of energy when uh, going up but then I get a huge amount of energy back when I'm driving down on the other side so that makes a big difference for me uh, living here in the Alps so uh, now you might ask uh, is there also disadvantages in driving mountain passes with electric cars um, there, there isn't really uh, because it's it's uh, it's also fun to drive as I told you in other videos uh, the, the car handles very well and uh, it's very fun to drive this car in in, in the bends here uh, on the Swiss mountain passes because uh, the, the I think the, the the chassis and everything is 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 very well laid out 
The only problem you might have is uh, it's far more difficult to calculate the actual range um, of the car when driving over high mountain passes because the problem is not the uh, the overall range uh, we will do a journey of 120 kilometers today which is well within the range uh, even here at uh, minus 10 degrees uh, that's no problem but uh, the problem is actually to to reach uh, the peaks before going down so um, you will need a lot more of energy to drive up and then you will get it back when driving down but before getting it back you will have to reach the top so you have to calculate a bit differently and uh, the car doesn't really calculate that for you so as you can see here the battery is nearly empty here on top of the Bernina pass uh, this is the second pass we have done today so from here it goes uh, downwards we still have about uh, 20 kilometers or, or even more to drive but uh, the battery will charge itself now from here on so um, we will have no problem and we will have extra miles uh, to spare when we will arrive so as you can see here we are on top of the Bernina Pass so that's the point where we won't be using any energy at all and you can see it's 2330 meters above sea level beautiful scenery uh, I'm sorry for the dirty windshield there but uh, the, the, the water froze um, although it was uh, a mixture for minus 20 degrees but still so my trick here is to do a bit of a calculation in my head I try to limit the power output or the direct consumption to about 30 kilowatt when uh, driving upwards uh, you can switch on the direct consumption uh, panel here in in the dashboard so as you can see we can regenerate over 40 uh, kilowatt when coming down and uh, then I can do the simple calculation that I need about uh, 3 kilowatt hours per 10 kilometers so I have to check how long it takes uh, how far it is from from here to the top of the pass where I'm going if it's uh, for example 30 uh, kilometers I need about uh, 9 or 10 uh, kilowatt hours which is uh, half of the battery so I need to have half of the battery left to get to the top uh, the, 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 the whole range is no problem I just need to get to the top because then it regenerates a lot when going uh, downwards and if I limit uh, the, the, the consumption to 30 kilowatt going upwards I can get the same amount back when driving uh, downwards because the car regenerates up to 40 kilowatt uh, so that's uh, even more that I get back than I used to drive upwards so it's, it's really cool because I just really use what I need for, for the drive for the kilometers and the rest uh, comes back so that's one of the main advantages for um, electric cars and how I use the car it's it's uh, one of my biggest advantages because I have to drive very often over mountain passes so that makes a huge difference to me so as you can see uh, we are halfway down now from uh, the Benina Pass I was at uh, zero percent on top of the Benina Pass no range left and now we got nearly 30 kilometers back and we're only halfway down so uh, as you can see it's not the main distance that's the problem it's just reaching the peak point so that's it for today my main message today was uh, mountain passes offer the biggest advantage 
with electric cars. Uh, the problem is not the range, which is uh, very good even in winter at minus 10 degrees, uh, but the problem is how to calculate um, how to calculate the range and uh, how to get to the peak point, to the highest point of your journey. Uh, that's a bit of a challenge sometimes in electric cars, but other than that, uh, everything is uh, perfect and I think uh, driving mountain passes is one of the best use of electric cars because you have the biggest uh, gain in efficiency um, compared to a standard petrol car. So I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, oh we're going through a tunnel here, thank you for watching and uh, see you again soon, bye!